Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to bring the part 5 of SEBI phase 1 year 2022 memory based question. By the end of this video, you will be happy that uh, you have completed the entire MCQ part of phase 1 as well as the descriptive part of the phase 2 because the video series for year 2022 is completed by this video. So again, if you haven't watched the previous videos in which we are actually targeting the entire previous year paper questions for SEBI, please do watch those videos in order to get an understanding of the pattern of the examination and the latest trend of questions that are being asked in the examination. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 questions. You have to attempt those 10 questions. The answers of those all 10 questions will be shown at the end of the video so that you can evaluate your attempt and get yourself a self-evaluation marks. And at the end, I'm going to tell you that what you need to do in order to improve that score and uh, if your score lies between which range and what is your current stand whether your performance is poor or average or good that thing i will tell you at the end and um, grab your pen and paper to attempt this particular video and the question first for this particular video is there which is asking for an array a statement about array and you have to just state true or false you have to analyze the statement whether it is true or false and according to that you have to mark your answer question number second is regarding the integrity constraints of the dbms so we know that there are different kinds of integrity constraints in dbms and there is a definition about one of them and you have to identify according to which integrity constraints this particular statement holds true now the 43rd question or you can see the third question in this particular video is related to the error uh, in the statement so there are different statements which are possible and out of these all statements there are some statements which are having error if all the statements are correct does not have any error then you have to say all are error free otherwise you have to see which all statements are incorrect and can mark your answer accordingly Question number four in this uh, is asking for the full form of FAT that is stands for what? So basically FAT stands for one of these things and what is the correct full form of FAT that you have to mention here. Question number 45 is related to data analytics which uses what insights from the data. So for that it is a factual question. You have to get an understanding to answer this particular question. Now question number 46 is the linear regression in supervised learning model in which of uh, the model finds the best fit dash between the independent and independent variable so you have to find the kind of trend that is being followed for this particular question and then you have to answer it question number 47 is asking you about the python support library for the regular expression so you know that there is a library in python which actually supports the regular expression and what is that just you have to answer that this is very easy question and many of you will be able to answer it if you have even uh, read anything on the regular expressions now the next question is related to the creation of a pattern object how it is being created using the regular expressions and how you use it in python that is the question that is being asked here question number 49 is related to the function that is re dot match which actually matches one particular um, regular expression to other and for that you have to just check which particular statement is true related to the matching in the regular expression the last question for this video series and also for this video is related to a statement whether it is a cia triad and what kind of uh, organization uh, have this kind of uh, guide policy for information security that we have to understand so for this question, you have to clearly state that whether this particular statement is true or false and according to that, you will be getting uh, the entire 50 questions done. If you felt that the video was fast at any point of time, go back to the video, attempt the question, pause the video and then come to the next question. And once you're done with all the questions, here are the all four ans uh, all the answers for the question where uh, you have to give yourself a self-evaluation take your time mark your answers and check whether you were correct where and what not for correct attempt plus one for incorrect attempt minus 0.25 this is the thing that you have to do and if you are having the final marks in the range of one to five you have 
to buck up yourself this is not the way where you have to stand in any competition if you are getting anything between 6 and 7 you are doing good but you have to revise a lot of stuff because it is an average performance and what you are targeting is a competition if you are getting anything between 8 9 or 10 that is a very good score but you have to cater to those all uh, areas where you went wrong and uh, what can be done in order to score 100 percent score in this particular video series so that was all from my side. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our side. Prepare 50% faster with iExamB by enrolling to our demo courses which are present at uh, www.iExamB.com. You can go and check out our SEBI IT demo course. If you still have any doubt, mention the doubts in the comment section or if you want to reach out to us, you can reach out to us on the number which is flashed on the screen or on the website. It, uh, email id that is hello at examby.com so this was all from my side i will keep on bringing more questions for the previous year paper and some more mock questions which will be very helpful for your examination for that stay tuned and keep practicing